Bell, she said. Desperate not to repeat the mistakes of the past, she stretched a no for the white hair that falls over her eyes, with a soft touch. Even that, IT was enough to make his heart run. I don't hate you, really. There was almost no sense in explaining, given the circumstances, but she felt that at that moment, she finally could. Her cheeks were slightly red as she addressed to the boy who slept in her lap. She realized she was glad his hair covered his eyes. If she was able to see her eyelids closed and her cheeks, she was sure she was too nervous to explain. She brushed her hair behind her long, tapered ELPH ears and hung up to his face. Close enough to feel your breath. She whispered, I could never hate you. In fact, that was as far as it got. Ryu stopped, she didn't say anything else. An abnormal silence fell. Finally, SHE narrowed her light blue eyes. Belle, you are awake. The boy's face drawn up. Ryu turned away and fixed an icy gaze on the boy's shameless attempt not to move. Reluctantly, Belle opened his eyes without resignation. Yes. Ryu's graceful eyebrows raised in anger. I believe I told you never, ever do something like that again. She pined the cheek of the boy who pretended to be sleeping.